So here we're going to look into our next five minute revision series and we're going to look at memory management. So as I covered in my last lesson video, an operating system needs to manage the back in store, the secondary storage, and its memory, which we know is RAM. Um, so think about the two types of RAM we've got. We've got static RAM and we've got dynamic RAM. But when we're referring to memory management, generally in the exam we're referring to paging, but it also can be segmentation. So paging is where we split up our available memory into fixed size chunks that are called pages, and each page has an address. Every time you load a process or use some data inside uh, an app or something, um, it gets allocated so many amounts of pages. Um, those pages are non-contiguous, so they act next to each other. That's why RAM is random access memory because it can access them in any order. So if you think about some example here, we've got process A, which needs two processes in um, RAM, and process B requires three pages in RAM. They're assigned them there, that is theirs until they close that program. Once process A ends, uh, address is 100, 101, 105 are now free. So a new process is started, but it gets stored where it's available, a little bit like defragmentation, which we'll look at later on. So it's allocated in non-contiguous pages. We have a thing called a page table, which maps between the logical memory locations and the physical memory locations, so it knows where to go. Alternatively, we can split them into variable lengths instead of uh, set pages, which are called segments. Uh, and they're sort of more uh, logical divisions rather than physical divisions. Once we run out of memory, sometimes we can get to the point where we've got an application running, but it needs more memory and we don't have that. So what we do is we give it an area of the hard disk and then those pages or segments, but in the exam, if I'm honest with you, it's nearly always referring to paging. It'll swap those pages in and out. So when we're answering a question on that, it's really, really important that we say um, process whatever, pages are put in secondary storage and pages from sec secondary storage uh, or virtual memory are then loaded into main memory or RAM. What can happen quite a lot though if you've got a bit of a rubbish computer, now this isn't on the exam, but if you're repeatedly swapping pages in and out, it can slow your computer down. Sometimes you can hear a ground, uh, grinding sound, it doesn't sound very nice, uh, and that is called disk thrashing, which happens more in older computers. And that's it. A really quick one, so paging, fixed length, um, segments are variable length or logical, and virtual memory is where we use a portion of the hard disk to swap pages in and out so we don't have to have our applications freeze because we've run out of memory. Thanks a lot, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.